Now I've been meaning to do one of these life on the rails chats for some time but a comment left on my last video by my good friend and former colleague Beric's finest sparked a memory or two and I thought I'll do this one. Here we see him photographed by Mark Brammer, a picture that was posted in a Facebook group uh, a couple of days ago, doing what he does best. It's hard to think that I moved to Peterborough over 20 years ago now, summer Y2K, and when you first move somewhere where there's lots of people, it's I really struggle with names and faces, so it took me ages and ages to learn just a few people's names and faces. However, one person uh, broke that rule because every day I saw them and there was a picture of, let's say, that March shunter in the office at Peterborough. And I asked several people why his picture was up there. And everyone I asked told me a story mostly the same but and it was probably months until I actually met this chap and when I did meet him I knew who he was straight away and I, I, I went to him and I said you're that March Shunter aren't you and I'll refer to him throughout this whole video as that March Shunter I would have shaken his hand but Gary told me not to and he'll he's going to tell you that story not me I never had a problem working with that March Shunter because when he was doing his job and mostly talking on the radio he would literally just not shut up and just talk all the time which when you're 20 wagons away propelling that's exactly what you want somebody to talk to you all the time the problem was, when he stopped shunting and got back on the engine, he still wouldn't shut up. <laughs> well, and you may well ask, what relevance has that got to do with me putting my hand in my pocket? Well, one summer afternoon, I was on a job, and I can't remember which one it was, which is really annoying. I know I've got a picture somewhere, and it's really annoying because I can't find that either. I'd been to Ely on a 47 and we was just running round with that March shunter uh, and to run round on the downside. So I was come back into the platform and I'd just changed ends and the engine shut down. Late afternoon, just before the peak, engine shut down, platform one at Ely and then I've got that March shunter jumping up and down like a headless chicken. I needed two minutes to work out what I was going to do and how I was going to do it to clear the main line and stuff like that. So I dug in my pocket, found a couple of pound coins and said to that March shunter, go to the shop and get us a couple of cans of Coke and an ice cream. And it's probably not me being generous at all it was just a way of getting rid of him for a couple of minutes so I could think about what I wanted to do and then it probably backfired as much as it helped as well because after that point because I'd bought him a can of coke and a, an ice cream he was my best friend ever <laughs> I'm fairly certain that it was um, Nev Laws uh, an old march driver that come to uh, rescue me with another 47 and I'm fairly sure that it was that day and I'm also fairly sure that it was the same day that uh, I got accused of running past a signal at Maney. That in itself is another story that we'll maybe dip into one day. Nev Laws on the other hand, Nev Laws was a, a much ridiculed behind his back character and but I used to get on all right with him. He was very, very interesting. He used to tell me tales of when he was, uh, when he used to work on the Upwell Tramway. The, yeah, the Wisbeach and Upwell Tramway. Very interesting chap. 
To further the tale of that March Hunter and dipping your hand in your pocket, we're going to switch to a slightly different location, which is Brandon and another driver. I'm sure somebody will, um, well, Beric's finest might comment on them and you'll find out who it is. Now, Brandon on the stone train, when I used to work it anyway, I think it still is because I see Charlie often posting about going for breakfast at uh, Brandon. Now, it's almost like an unwritten rule when you're on the Brandon stone job that you set the train f for the first half to get unloaded and then you just go for breakfast. Now, I know there's one March shunter that watches this and I used to work with him quite often and they're all probably wondering why it used to take me so long to uh, set back while there was for the first shunt and it was because I used to drive right down to the signal at the far end of Brandon Loop climb up and then take a picture I think this picture's slightly better but this is um, not the Brandon Stone it's the Trouse uh, aggregates back to the cafe and the breakfast it wasn't me honest it wasn't me so that March shunter and aforementioned driver went to the cafe for their breakfast. Uh, the driver ordered his breakfast and so did that March shunter. But when it came to paying, that March shunter didn't have enough money in his pocket and said driver wouldn't put his hand in his to pay for his breakfast. So, so the story goes, the that March shunter then decided that the, the only thing that he could afford on the menu was apple pie and custard. So said driver was sat at the table chomping away on his sausage and egg and that March shunter slipped, tripped and spilt his apple pie and custard on the floor. They can only imagine how bad that must have been and said driver just sat stone-faced eating his breakfast while well, that march hunter scooped up his apple pie and custard <laughs> sat down at the table and then ate it i can only imagine now if i was there that w i would have been wetting myself literally wetting myself i would not have been able to sit there stone-faced and just carry on eating <laughs> like nothing had happened i just couldn't have done it never mind it was you know on the other hand it wouldn't have never happened anyway because i would have bought his breakfast but here you go beric's finest i hope I, I can only hope that i've told that story in the correct way that it should be told i'm sure somebody well, I, I know the person that was there and I'm sure he'll, he'll message me if I've got it wrong in some way. Anyway, we'll do another one of these soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.